People call me every day about their dog running up to and nipping at guests coming over. I just had a call today and the lady said she ends up putting her dog up in a room and that's what almost everybody does. Guests shouldn't come over to your house and be bitten or nipped. Now we're not talking about horrible aggression where the dog is attacking people coming over. That's a whole different thing, okay? What we're talking about is nipping and jumping on guests, which it's annoying to guests. People end up either just allowing their guests to be nipped all the time, which isn't cool, or they put the dog up into a room, which also isn't good. You know why that's not good? Because the dog needs to desensitize to the process of someone coming in. So imagine everyone sitting around, knock on the door. Everyone goes, oh, so-and-so's here. And the dog also reads everyone's body language and goes, oh my God, it's time to get crazy. Then everyone goes to the door, dog's jumping. They never sort of back the dog up. They never do anything with dog. That person comes in and the dog is so pent up, it just jumps and it bites the person or a nip. It's not okay for your guests to experience that. But if you wanna fix it, we're gonna show you how to fix it right now. There's a few ways to fix it, okay? I'm gonna go over some other ways that I'm gonna show you the way that people will actually do it. So there's no method out there that can be like constant monitoring of your dog, constant treats, constant punishment. I have thousands of clients. No one does that. And not everyone has the money to send their dog away for a month to get fixed, okay? You need real solutions to these problems. All right, so I'm gonna go through a couple ways you can try it, and then I'm gonna go through the main way because these ways are good too, and people want different ways and, and different methods that take more work or less work. So I'm gonna do a couple ways. Okay, one is you create a barrier around your door, right? And almost the house has to have like tile and then it goes to carpet. There has to be a transition, a different surface. Like this room wouldn't work well. I, but what I could do is I could take tape I can run tape right here and right here. So I'm basically letting the dog know that there's a boundary that it cannot cross. So, and we're gonna let on the dog and do this in a minute. So if I had the tape down, I would, without a guest at the door, I would maybe walk up and knock on the door. The dog's still gonna get up and get excited. Then I say, back up, back up. And I would basically back the dog up to the other side of the tape line. I could say stay, they don't have to do sit stay. That's different, that's a sit stay. I can, I wanna let the dog wander, I just, it just can't, invade the door area. Back it up, ah, it goes forward, back it up to the beyond the tape line or to the carpet, and then I kind of open the door and I go, hi, how are you, come on in. And no one's there, but the dog's gonna go forward. Uh-uh, back it up. Then you transition to uh, maybe husband or wife or kids coming home. So, the, so because what you have to do is slam it on their face. Uh-uh, back it up, then let them in. Hi, how are you, uh-uh, back them up have to be beyond that boundary. You create a boundary, it's called boundary training, okay? Let them in and then, okay, release. Now, how would that fix nipping? Here's how that fixes nipping. The nipping happens right there at the corner of that door usually. You create a boundary, that dog's back here, then the person's in the house and walking, there's less of a nip. The, the, the dog's not as crazy as it was right there. Okay, that's one method. All right, another method is a bed stay. So you train the dog to go to their bed and stay on their bed, right? And then you go to the door, no one there, you open the door, hi, how are you? Ah, uh -uh, put the dog back. So it's similar to the boundary training, but it's a specific behavior. It's a bed stay. Why on a bed? Because it's like this, it's a boundary. It's also farther away from the door. So you're gonna have the person can come in, hang out for a minute, then you release your dog to say hi to them. I'm not saying the dog isn't gonna run up and nip them at that point, but generally the nuttiness is right here. You get what I'm getting at? We gotta get that dog away from the door. All right, now to, and why is that a tough one? Both these methods are tough because it takes a lot of work to get there, right? It takes a bed stay with tons of distractions, which is a new person coming over, or boundary training with tons of distractions. Most people aren't gonna do these methods. So here's the method we're talking about. We're gonna use Casper. We've got one of my trainers out here. Casper is not a nipper. We don't have a nipper. I wish we did. But what Casper does is he loves Carly and he's gonna be crazy to see Carly. By the way, all these methods work for just craziness too, but they work for nipping too. Okay, so we're gonna let Casper out. Casper! Here's the dog. Now here's the method. You're not gonna expect that this is the method I'm gonna tell you to do, but people need easy methods that get the job done. 
People don't want to work. People don't want to uh, work all day to train their dog. They want easy methods. So here's what we're going to do. You're going to take your dog. You're going to put your dog on a leash. And you are going to put this leash around a heavy table. Or you can put an eye bolt in the wall with a carabiner. And you are basically going to have the dog be on a leash on a bed across the room from the guest. We're not going to let them sit there and go nuts and bark. But guess what problem this solves? The dog is involved. It's not up in a room where it doesn't desensitize and never sees the guest come in. But it's also not rehearsing being nutty at the door. It's over here. Your guest can come in in peace. Okay, ready? So, Casper's going to come over here. I don't care about a bed stick. Okay, Casper's going to come over here. And what you do is you take this leash and you tie it around something. You go through. You go through itself. Then you tie it to the dog. Now, this is not that sturdy of a thing at all, but you need to do this on a heavier table. But the point is the same. We just don't have anything heavy enough, but we'll see. Maybe we'll lock this up right here. Okay, your dog is tied up while your guests come over. Now I'm gonna get my guest, okay? He can't assault the guest. He's back there. Now I can do this in peace, right? My dog's not right here, being nutty. My guest comes in, my guest get, get jumped on. Hi, Carly. Come on in. How are you? Hey. Oh, it's good to see you. So good to see you. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm good. So you can greet your guest. Your dog is tied off. Your dog is in the room. He's not able to jump and nip the person. Now, Casper's being good. Casper has also seen the process. He hasn't been involved in it and jumping here and I'm going, no, no, stop it. Or, hey, can you, can you push my dog off? We're not doing any of that. We can have a nice conversation. Now, Casper has been good enough where we're gonna let him off. Now, Casper may jump on Carly. So I'm gonna act like Carly's a normal person and here's what I'm gonna say to Carly. Because he's already chiller than he would have been if, if he was off leash. He's chiller. So Carly. If Casper comes and jumps on you, I'd like, now this is jumping method, okay? And it's easy enough to tell your guest. All I want you to do is please ignore him and just give him a little knee and don't look at him or touch him. And then when he's a good boy, you can go down and pet him. So it's not impossible for your guest. You're not asking your guest to be mean to your dog. You're also, we need to fix this jumping, okay? And it requires a little bit of your guest's help. Now, I like to, he kind of chilled when I took him off. I didn't let him just get off and run up to her. Okay. And happy to see her. She gives him a pet when he sits. And then there's, not too bad. And the door opens, he doesn't even want to leave. Not too bad, this is a pretty good meeting, pretty good meeting. There's a jump. Her, Carly gave him a perfect, that was perfect. Go back and rewind that. She actually gave him that little knee up on the jump. He didn't even get up there. That was a perfect little knee. Didn't hurt him, but it was clear enough to say that's not okay. Now, are your guests gonna do it that well? Perfect knee again. Just a little knee, and then she calls him over. She's giving him all the love in the world. She's not gonna give, oh, good. He sat, she went back down and pet him. Now, you can't give your clients, hey, can you do all this work when I come over? but it's better than your clients being um, jumped on constantly. It's better than putting your dog up in the room and your client isn't gonna be as good as Carly, but they're gonna, you can give them a little bit of work to do. And then, hey, go ahead and come on in, Carly. Let's go and let's sit down. Go ahead. You come in with your guest and then the dog turns you around. Okay, so that is your method for guests coming over when you have a nipper, when you have a jumper, or when you have just nuttiness at the door.